Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Shensia mix up popcorn name in eating argument. Popcorn style Ramesh. Congratulations to Tammy and Wayne Marshall. And your wholeness, this is the Maroon Chief. Stay tuned for the stories in detail. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. <laughs> Just a show my mom friend them, the real and counterfeit The wolf them we go and like sell them a sheep Me not trust them, that's why I'm not sleep With my two eyes like, one of them a fear pit But don't see how my hurt them a sick But, who no can get my flesh for eat I just a guy, when me out in the street, them in his name is K Pebble with his song Counterfeit Friends. One of the scariest thing in this life is a fake friend. Am I lying? They do horrid things to you, even take your life. The youths need to hear this one because there is knowledge in his lyrics. Hopefully his message will stick and they take heed. The chorus is catchy and his delivery is clear. The music video tells a story as well and it relates to the song itself. Special big ups going out to Kina British and relative music. To listen to counterfeit friends, please click the link in the description box below and check him out on Instagram at the underscore real underscore capable and relative music. Make them know say a motor no no. Since the release of Shen Sia's song that features Make and Stallion and Lick, a lot of persons had negative remarks about the song, and trust me, them a beat are on various platforms. Mind you that some persons actually like the song some persons are just a bit disappointed so based off what i'm seeing most of the persons who like this song are from the international market and not so much so from the local market some persons are saying that megan the stallion was the one who saved the song anyways massive what are your thoughts about the song will this song be on your playlist I need to know but outside of that we have to make mention of her upcoming album yes she posted it on her Instagram the name of her debut album is called alpha and it will be dropping on March 11 this year she captioned that alpha my debut album March 11 hashtag lick out oh, now thanks for f***ing with me MTV Spotify YouTube Apple music audio Mac and Pan Dora. So Popcorn is in the comment section. Popcorn go, why? Then Shensia come and tag Popcorn and say, stop going like you're not know, it. An emoji face. Oh my gosh, Shensia. Popcorn then responded and said, don't mix me up with your Indian manager. Only know what we might talk, right? Ramesh clapped back by tagging Popcorn and said, yes, she know because member of me teach you. Hashtag the unruly way. But anyways, massive. Shensia has been responding to several comments about her song. One comment was grind our gear apparently. And it was insensitive from my perspective. It's a tweet someone did. It reads, Sheng Yang mother supposed to a turn in our grave like Carmel, you know. Sacrifice the poor woman for go sing f**kery. Laughing emoji. Then Shensia said, Pussy, me go find you. Mr. Vegas posted a screenshot of this picture. Then he captioned it. All of the man them when no say you bow, put up your hand and say, yo, yo, congrats on your collab goddess. May this take you to the moon. Then he tagged Shensia. In the comment section, he said, all bow cat dress back is a type. We make a mistake upon the intro. On a different note, we want to say congratulations to Tammy and Wayne Marshall. They're expecting their fourth child together. Who wants a girl this time? Let me see your hands in the comment section below. All I want for Tammy is a healthy baby and a safe delivery. Congratulations again, guys. So apparently a meeting was held with the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, and the Maroon Chiefs 
However, Chief Corey was excluded. Yes, massive. He went live to address the whole situation. Check this out. Ashe, Kwaba, Salam Alaikum. Good morning, everybody. Healing from the hills of Cockpit Country in the Cockpit Country town of Akompong. Unity is what essentially binds a movement and creates the solidarity behind any movement of a people, be it for a just cause, in defined in its purest and simplest way. I come to you this morning to essentially address a significant happening uh, within the last week. On Sunday, the Maroon Chiefs had a meeting to discuss the current state of affairs and the relations with the government and a lot of what you've been seeing thrown around in the media. We've sat back and we've observed what has become a solid attack on our legacy, on our heritage. And it all began with kinda, a word that means one family. It transitioned to out of many, we are one people. In that meeting as chiefs, the four elected Maroon colonels were on that call, Colonel Wallace Sterling, Colonel Douglas, Colonel Lloyd Latibadere, and myself, along with others of the indigenous community. Now, today, I say that we had a pretty thorough and engaging conversation in arriving at a direction and a path to quell all the nonsense that has been spun around and thrown around through the media. We're not here to divide anyone. We're not here to create problems. The Maroons have lived for over 300 years in these hills unprovoked. We have not been at war since signing of that treaty. We've main, we maintain brotherhood, we lived off the land, we continue to live off this land and protect the land. In recent times, we found ourselves in a conundrum where so many things have been promised to us as a people, roads, water, running water, you know. The cockpits provide 40% of the island's fresh water, we don't have running water. We've had promises upon promises upon promises that these things would come. And to date, we still struggle as a people. In that meeting on Sunday between all the colonels and other members of the indigenous community, Gamma G, Marcus Goff, who's a legal um, representative. And I find that it was a productive meeting, as I mentioned. Coming out of that meeting, we tabled the position that collectively we would prepare the maroon working papers which we would be passing to the government to begin dialogue to have a diplomatic resolution to this cause it was made clear in that meeting that a contact from the government had reached out to colonel sterling in an effort to arrange a meeting with the maroon chiefs only that the terms of this meeting would be that Chief Curry not be included. We raised the concerns, we had an open discussion about it, and everyone decided it was in the best interest of the collective and maintaining the position of one, one conversation having to do with the rights for indigenous peoples and the Maroons. What I'm saying is that having agreed to these terms within the last 24 hours, much to my disappointment, the decision of the other three colonels have changed. Colonel Latibadir was very strong in his opposition of having a conversation that would exclude any of the Maroon colonels 
Why? Because we're seeking to unify our voices behind the cause and we're trying to unify our own communities and bodies towards the common cause. We all want this to be a peaceful and diplomatic resolution. I will not continue and join the nonsense that's being spurred in the media. We're not trying to create a divide. We're not creating a threat to the state. We're not here trying to overthrow anybody. The Prime Minister has his job and I have mine. The end of it all is that what we've been asking for is a sit down to have discussions around the rights of the people, the indigenous people of the land, the Afros and the Indians, everybody who is here, who is a representation of their heritage. We still aren't able to have a reasonable diplomatic conversation. Now, what would have caused my fellow colonels to change their position is still not clear to me. We had an emergency call last night at around 7 p.m. to discuss this matter. I again aired the position that a collective argument and a collective approach is the best approach. Because at the end of the day, we all represent the indigenous first peoples of this land. And for what has transpired in the media and between the Maroons and the government for years, there's an element of trust that needs to be babied, that needs to be, that needs to be preserved. So I come today to let everybody know that my position remains firm in asserting the birthrights of the cockpit country Maroons coming via our indigenous rights and our treaty of 1738. Now, at the end of it all, we should continue to, main, to remain resolved in keeping the rhetoric positive because Chief Richard Curry did not come here to start a war. Chief Curry came here to assert birthright and to facilitate economic and social upliftment of the Maroon people. Nani of the Maroons wasn't the only Maroon hero. Should I say heroin? Many had fought and died in that 83 years. Captain Kojo stood up, fought. We signed that treaty to bring peace to the land and bring freedom to the people. Clause 6 of the treaty reads that the Maroons would capture, kill, or suppress any rebels found after the day of this treaty unless they subject themselves to the terms and accommodation of Captain Kojo and his successors. That was very clear, a diplomatic engagement between two nations that swore to peace and maintaining peace on the island. Everyone had an opportunity to join. I did not sign a treaty. I'm merely here to affirm the rights of a people and preserve our lands that are a significant threat of being mined. At the end of the day, the chief looks after his people. We live in a landlocked territory. Therefore, diplomatic engagement is necessary. Why would I then want to start a war? I have said it on many platforms, I've said it on many videos, I've said it on many programs. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. It just seems to be missing everyone. I guess war is what suits their rhetoric and what sells their story. People have gone as far as calling Maroons a hogwash story. I empathize with you, but it doesn't deter our resolve knowing our birthright and knowing our heritage, knowing our legacy and wanting to protect that legacy. We continue and remain resolved to work with the government to bring a resolution to these challenges, but not in a divided way. It makes no sense having what we would term or what is being termed an icebreaker meeting that does not involve the voice of the representative of the territory 
that seems to be causing all the chaos. We need to now tackle the challenges head on and like big people. We need to be honorable and stand up and represent what we were elected to do. And I'm talking both Maroon leaders, the leader of the wider state and leaders globally. We represent the voices of our people. Chief Richard Curry is not on a sole mission. Chief Curry is here to air the concerns and the plights of the cockpit country Maroons, which have been often overlooked for quite some time now. I invite everyone, please, please, I will make myself personally available to you. Come to my community. Come and look and see what's happening here. Take a bus, charter a bus. Come here and see what's happening. Many talk and they've never been here. They don't know what's happening. There's been so much funding that has come into this country on behalf of indigenous people and none of it gets spent here. So again, implore the minds and hearts of those that be to let good sense prevail. Please, we're asking for proper dialogue. And I and the government of cockpit country, along with our legal team, will continue to prepare documents in lieu of having dialogue that is constructive to put forth our position for economic upliftment and social mobility amongst our people that can be a mutually beneficial thing to the greater nation. Out of many, one people. Kinder, one family. Love, thank you. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now.